Hi, uh, 30 days of Artelonia. I think this is day uh, 20, let's say 27. I reckon that's what it is. I'm in the studio and uh, there's a beautiful evening light and I'm feeling inspired to just play with the paint just to do something on this piece of paper here which has gesso painted on it and I've got loads of acrylic um, paint uh, there and some spray, acrylic spray and then just lots of bits and pieces around the place. Uh, lots of colours. So. This is really unusual for me. I'm finally giving myself permission to begin with no stimulus, at least no outer stimulus. I'm feeling like filled with inspiration recently. And I think it's, it's partly to do with kind of heading off to Loch Lomond and having that time in nature and also working with Louise Turnbull who does amazing abstract landscape. I just thought I just want to feel the joy of the medium and play with the paint and just go for whatever colour um, appeals to me. And so I'm going to start off with this, maybe it's cobalt is it? I don't know, Some, it's a blue anyway. And this is one of those brushes that um, Jim bought for me in Aldi. And it's grand and big, so it's allowing me to just make these big marks and to make marks that begin and end off the page. It's quite a lot of paint actually there. <laughs> so, okay, right. okay, so that's a lovely, that feels great, that blue, blue beginning. And then this is, I think, cadmium orange. And maybe if I put a bit more water on it, I can get a good splash there. There we are. I meant to actually prepare a second sheet so that I had something that I could turn to when I didn't know when I didn't know what to do anymore in this one. I'm just going to do that right now so that I'm not in any way jaded by um, by what I'm doing, you know, that I keep inspired. So, oh God, I've got my, my tree on one side and self-portrait on the other side from the 30 days. So I'm just going to tweak off the self-portrait and put on the... Uh, on the other sheet of gesso paper here so that I can put up um, so they can put up another board and get another painting started here. Okay. I think maybe this is partly inspired too by um, that amazing film that I saw at my artist friend George McBean's house last week, which was called The Price of Everything. And in it, uh, artists, dealers and auctioneers, art collectors were interviewed. And uh, I was just really taken with the, the abstract art of Rothko and Jackson Pollock and um, you know I'm afraid I'm letting the female artists a group of artists down because I can't remember the name but there was some amazing female artists in that program as well who I'll try and mention below this video um, and I just loved the abstraction and how uh, moved by colour I remember Paul Klee saying colour and I are one moved by colour um, and, and only colour, really. Uh, these paintings took shape. And so I want to do the same thing here, just to allow myself to work with whatever comes to me. Mm. Now this, isn't, this isn't the best easel to be using because it's not connecting at the top, which is irritating. Okay. 
had wanted to use the Payne's Grey, which is this one. And I think I'll just use a roller. brush to a household brush and then I got this acrylic spray in uh, Lidl last week it's my first time really using it it's kind of exciting isn't it Woo okay there are a few different colors so I might try the blue as well up the other one <clears throat> I'm going to use a rag to kind of create something of a pattern here as, it, as the waters run through the blue kind of gouges a channel that I'm wiping away with the dry rag. And wouldn't that spray be kind of nice now as well? What about the yellow one? paint okay sugar these aren't my old jeans anyway I'm thinking make chance essential. Okay, I'm going to put that down to one side now again. I'm going to pick up this other one and see what's been happening here. Just turn it that way. Okay. Dry, dry rag and just see what will happen and actually I'm going to spray that so that as it dries something interesting may happen that too Mm. Okay. So 
Cerulean blue. 